New Haven police continue to investigate a car crash that killed a woman from Waterbury. The driver has not yet been charged. Tonight, police are using surveillance video to piece together what happened there. The victim, Melissa Tancredi, was a technician at Yale New Haven Hospital and the mother of two boys. News 8's Renee Schmiel live at the intersection of York and South Frontage tonight in New Haven with the very latest. Renee? Darren and police say the woman was standing right over here where I'm standing when she was hit and yet she was on the sidewalk not on the street when that car hit her. Flowers left where 42 year old Melissa Tancredi was hit by a car and killed. She worked at Yale New Haven Hospital was a mother of two and was engaged to be married. Nursing student Alicia Kalinowski heard the crash and rushed to help. I ran over and I was the first person to her and um, I think it was a nurse that ran up right behind me and checked her pulse and started CPR. News 8 spoke with Kalinowski exclusively. Police say the driver of the car was in the left turn lane but kept going straight. Witnesses say she didn't hit the brakes until she was in the middle of the intersection. People who regularly walk through here say they don't always feel safe. I definitely look very carefully whenever I cross the streets and I walk by here multiple times a day to go to work. It's a busy intersection and the nearby sidewalks are often congested too. Many people say they make sure to keep an eye on the cars passing by just in case. People have a tendency to run red lights a lot so we usually wait till um, a couple of seconds after the red light turns on and then cross the street. When Tancredi saw the car, it was too late. Kalinowski says the 29-year-old driver was screaming afterwards. Kalinowski was shaken by what she saw and thinking of the woman whose life was cut short. She like didn't see it coming. Like she would never have thought that this was about to happen to her. So I just think it's so tragic. The driver has been cooperating police. It's too soon to know at this point if she will face charges. Live in New Haven, Renee Schmiel, News 8.